All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, is I'm going to be showing you guys the new Minecraft snapshot that's been coming out. I haven't actually checked it out in a long time, so there's actually a few things that I do. Um, I've I've learned since the last snapshot. Um, since I checked it out the last time, and there is a few new things that is minor minorly new so if you guys watch any other minecraft channel you probably already know this like captain sparkles or whoever else that covers these snapshots just as much as i want to so i'm gonna be showing you guys the this is actually 20 w 10 a last time last time i checked it out i think it was 20 w 7 a it's been a while it's been a while there's a there's been a few things since i've actually checked it out Crying Obsidian is a thing, and I'm actually loving the way this block looks. I like the way this block looks. I would so totally use this to build. Crazy block. It looks better than the last one. Everybody's like, okay, Crying Obsidian is going to be a thing. And then everybody kept using the old texture. This is better than the old texture. I, I This is like 100%. I like this block so much. So, yeah, I made like a portal with it. It would be pretty cool if Crying Obsidian became a area where you need to, like, you, it had a crafting recipe and it actually took you to a brand new dimension that uh, is pretty uh, i don't know like what what can like a new dimension besides the end of nether that minecraft can have that would be really cool but before they add dimensions we need a damn cave update i think it's about damn time if you guys grab some flint uh if we grab flint and still here you can tell it actually does nothing which is pretty pretty i mean it's probably not going to be used for that so probably gonna be used for something completely different but i believe that it would be really 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 cool if this became a portal to another dimension uh, a brand new dimension for minecraft and that that would just be awesome i think that would just be awesome so yeah as you guys can tell this is a normal obsidian crying obsidian obviously you guys should know the difference between uh, the two obsidians, which would, uh, you know, uh, there's also other few things that I've actually learned. Figured out how to get um, netherite, and I've also figured out how to craft it, and there's a few other things here as well. And this is probably just gonna be maybe a short video. I'm not sure how long this is gonna be. The way to get netherite scraps is you do need the ancient, uh, ancient debris, and you do need to put them in the furnace. Once you put them in the furnace, I'm using the blast furnace because it's a lot faster, but once you put them in the furnace, you guys get netherite scraps, and that's how you get the netherite scraps is from the ancient debris. Now on how to find them, I do not know. I didn't check out how to find the ancient debris. I did not find how to do any of that. I just figured out how to get them ancient debris, put it in the furnace, and you get netherite scrap, which is pretty cool. I didn't know, I'm, I'm, I'm kinda glad I'm learning because I wanna make sure I know how to get all this stuff, you know, when the update comes out, 1.16. Let's hope 1.17 is going to be a cave update. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying, guys, it's been, it's been so long, all right? They have updated the nether. They've updated biomes. They've updated the uh, overworld many times. It's time to update the caves. New ores. We need We need new ores. Like, legit. Like, we need gems. Like, what, like, come on. Like, there's mods out there that show amethysts, ruby, whatever the hell you have, topaz and stuff like that. But I feel like when that happens, this game is just going to be Minecraft slash Terraria because that's what it is. <laughs> Uh, there's a few things with the um, uh, the netherite hoe. The netherite hoe is actually uh, enchantable. So if you guys grab the um, stuff like that, I'll show you guys something about the silk touch later. Uh, if you put this inside the f um, the thing right here, which is funny, because uh, so you get unbreaking, unbreaking, and infinity four. Now I'm not sure if I need that in creative, but I'm gonna put it in there anyways. You can actually unbreaking in infinity four. So you can also do this. So you, pretty much you can just like. Enchant the hoe. It's really useful. It's probably the most useful tool in the game now. Like so, if you uh, do that, but I'm gonna show you something here, right there right now. So if you take the silk touch, you go to the anvil here, and you go here, put them inside the anvil. Enchanted books. Did that the wrong way. You can put silk touch on it with the anvil, and pretty cool because like I mean, hoes were nothing to do but to till the ground, and that didn't work. But they were uh, used for nothing but to till the ground. But now. Uh, if you guys want to go get uh, and trade with the villagers with uh, hay and you have another right hoe, well, it's just like, uh, well, it was better. So if I go to the game mode survival, as you guys can see, it works out to be pretty f efficient to get hay. And you can just make the hay bales and trade with the villagers or make as much as bread as you need because I guess bread is an actual good food in Minecraft. The enchantment table because... I do not, as you guys can see, I do not have any experience. So moving on, as you guys can tell, I did figure out how to craft um, netherite bars, which is right here. You need four gold, four netherite scraps, 
put them in the same area I had them on in the thing, and you guys can get another right. And uh, yeah, I don't know why I didn't know this the last time. The crafting recipe was there since 7A, so it was up there since the last snapshot. And this is just new to me, figured out how to do it and uh, stuff like that. So that's how you guys craft netherite bars, as you guys can tell. So there's a new, new thing that they did and there is a different texture to the netherite, uh, netherite stuff here. And I, I, I can't notice it. I don't, I do not notice it. It, they look the same unless if it's, uh, I don't know. I, I feel like it has more color to it around the edge. It's not black around the edge. It's like, I don't know, purple, I guess. I, I, I don't know. Uh, this doesn't seem like it changed at all. I think they just changed the tools to the netherite and not the armor. And I don't know. It, they, it looks completely the same to me. It doesn't look like it changed at all. I, I can't see a difference. So the next thing that is that the smithing table finally has a function. So if you go in here, click right here, it says upgrade here, here, and here. The smithing table has a function and maybe this, the smithing table might play in with a cave update, like to, in order to make something like uh, new ores, you might need a smithing table because if you go here, I have a diamond chest plate, diamond, and some extra um, netherite ores, or bars, not ores. And so we go ahead and grab the chest plate and if you put that in there, it does not change. Last time it did change, I'm pretty sure, before the smithing table had a function. But now if, when you go to the smithing table, you go, you put the diamond sword in here, and you put the netherite ingot in right here, and then you have another netherite sword. This is a great way to do it. Netherite chest plate, you guys know it works for all the tools and armors. It's the same for all every single one of them. Now, this might actually play in with some other type of updates that they're going to be adding into the future. Uh, let's say, again, cave update uh, to make a ruby something. Uh, you maybe want to make something. I don't know. I'm just speculating that they need to add more ores within Minecraft because it's dull. Um, every we need more. We we need we need more stuff. We need more stuff like emerald, emerald stuff, ruby stuff. I don't know, more steel, I had steel, I mean, I don't know, I'm thinking of like mods here, like the mods that add steel, I know iron is a top of, I type, that would be pretty cool if they had like some type of uh, Bessemer process type thing um, inside of Minecraft, but uh, then again, it would take too long, and then you would need like a big machine, and then it would like, you'd need some like impurities and just to make steel, it would take a while, but it could be stronger than iron, I mean, that'd be pretty cool, I don't know. I'm just thinking of like some stuff that my, uh, that can be actually added into Minecraft that would actually make it really cool. But the smithing table is probably going to have a lot of functions in the near future, and I'm kind of glad it has a function now. It's going to take took them a long while, but now finally 1.17, here we are. We got a or 1.16. Sorry about that. We finally got um, a function for this. This was uh, the pillager update, I think, or the, it was way before that, I think. I don't even remember when this came out, but it hasn't had a function in a long time, and it's finally got a function. Get out of here, man. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> oh, man. I better go into game mode uh, cre um, creative before he kills me. So there's also a few things uh, that I want to be checking out with you. There is, uh, they've actually had, so the uh, mushrooms actually had a um, name change, which is very minor, not really were, um, really anything. Uh, they used to be called um, the Warped and the Crimson Fungi. I think this one was, but now they're just called the Fungus. Yeah, that's pretty much what th that happened here. They just changed the name to the mushrooms of the Crimson and Warped biomes inside the Nether. So I'm super, super, super excited to see what comes in the next uh, near future of these snapshots. So if you guys want to stay updated on the snapshots, make sure to click subscribe and that smash that like button. I don't usually say this because it's just too cheesy and I'm just gonna say it once. So if you guys want to see a survival let's play on the snapshots and the warped and crimson biomes and another update all together, let me know down in the comments below. And also, again, you guys can like the video. That also lets me know uh, somehow. I don't know how it lets me know, but let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see a nice little survival let's play of the snapshots that are coming out um, soon. When another 
whenever it comes out and I feel like it's worth showing you guys, I will make another video on the snapshots. I'll also make a video when the update very first comes out. And uh, yeah, so that is the video, guys. I hope you guys learned so much about the new update. I hope you guys are excited for the update because I'm excited to see what comes in the near future of Minecraft, especially a cave update. I'm just so happy for it. I'm, I'm so I'm just waiting for that cave update. And uh, yeah, so thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.